audit and review protocol is a direct answer to the inherent inaccuracies of human memory used the Pandora Savant is split into two phases, audit and review. In the audit phase, the Pandora operator subtly guides the consciousness of the subject, allowing them to openly and freely explore the locations, paradigms, details, and structures of any given memories. On the foundations of memory to be accurate, but the finer details to be questionable, the operator records these subject memories, which are then held by the savant device for later use. Throughout this audit phase, the operator is encouraged to remain impartial, not to influence the subject, and allow their consciousness to freely explore the desired memory pathways unhindered and with the minimum minimum of guidance or suggestion. <laughs> you did not do that all, all, at all, Ramsey. Uh, at this stage, anomalies and inaccuracies are expected, but the audit phase is used to gather information only. Multiple returns to the same memory audit is encouraged, as further exploration of any given syn synaptic, synaptic pathway will yield more evidence for evaluation during review. The review phase is undertaken by the operator alone without the need for an active Pandora subject, yet only once the audit is complete. Once the desired memories have been adequately explored by the subject and recorded by the savant, the operator then reaccesses these memories. Once back inside the memory, by using a deep computational algorithm based on Maslow's hierarchy of needs, projected behavioral paths of least resistance, known real-world outcomes, and impartial observation, the operator is able to evaluate the most likely outcome of the stored memory. This extra review phase nullifies any inaccuracies of, with, of the subject's memory, strips all active anomalies within the synaptic recall, and it allows a trained operator to extract the truth from any given memory with a current success rate of up to 90%. Those are the needs. Okay. Let's read all this stuff. Current problems. Oh, that's part three. Um, memories. The question is, how false are our memories? Says Ramsey. <laughs> Development and purpose. Developed by Dr. Ad Robert Ramsey from a future defense group. The Pandora unit is a cutting-edge interrogation device currently in second-stage prototype. Designed as the answer to the present challenge challenges faced by the military and homeland security, the Pandora unit probes the memories of civilian victims and suspected sleeper cell agents to effectively gather evidence and find answers within the current climate of homegrown and international terrorism, a human mo humane modern solution to an inhumane modern problem. It is believed that the utilization of this technology, both at home and abroad, will exponentially cut civilian casualties in the theater of war and destroy any sense of mistaken identity when dealing with potential terror suspects. A factor common in current armed drone deployment due to inaccuracies of facial recognition technology. Uh, the brain is the most complex structure in the universe, and the foundation of that structure is memory. Operation and usage. Originally developed as a read only device, the initial prototype of the Pandora headset allowed the operator to the view the memories of any given subject. However, this read-only aspect was quickly realized to be flawed due to the fallibility of human memory recall. For so long, memory research has centered around the belief that our minds are like photo, to photo albums. All we need to do is recall a memory and mentally access the correct album and then view the perfect memory snapshot inside. Yet modern research has shown this to be false. In truth, when we recall a memory, we are recalling the last time we remembered that specific memory and not the event that caused the memory. This means that rather than a photo album, our minds work more like a computer filing system. Each time we recall a memory, we open it, make changes, and then save those changes, ready to recall at a later date. Every time we recall a memory, the original is written over with subtle and distinct differences. With reference to the Pandora device, this is immediately realized to be a glaring flaw in the tech. If a subject's eyewitness reports of their own memories cannot be trusted, how can an operator assess the truth in their findings? This hurdle led to the Stage 2 prototype, the induction of the Savant Recorder, 
and the formulation of the audit and review protocol. The introduction of this font was a major, major breakthrough for the Pandora project. If the Pandora headset reads memories via simulation and visualization of the electrical stimulus to the existing synaptic, synaptic pathways, then the savant dynamically captures and records those memories for solo exploration and evaluation by an impartial operator at a later date. This implementation of the savant recorder with the existing reader device has resulted in the current internal project codenamed Pandora Savant. Problems with the tech. Although far in advance of the first stage prototype, the Pandora Savant still has some critical flaws which are yet to be ironed out of the design. The Namia, uh, also known as tip of the tongue syndrome, and is an unfortunate side effect in some subjects when interacting with the Pandora Savant. This takes the form of mild amnesia in some subjects, or an inability to recall any context or details about an accessed memory. The subject subconsciously understands that an explored memory is important, but cannot consciously understand why. This phenomenon is combated by the review process, but not mitigated entirely. It is believed that forgetting is a natural defense mechanism of the brain, stopping humans from dwelling on and reliving traumatic experiences from the past. With references to the Pandora unit, it is believed that this is the natural rea reaction and rejection of the brain towards the Pandora process and technology. Synactic lead, a flaw of the technology which occur occurs during the audit phase. Due to the subject's mind being explored and the operator's mind observing, both being hooked up to the Pandora Savant for this opening phase, it has been recorded that the operator's memories will sometimes bleed into and overlay the memories and in-machine experiences of the subject. This phenomenon has not yet been corrected. While this subject, while this can be, be stripped out with some success during review, this two-way traffic is wholly undesirable, yet unfortunately unavoidable, with the current iteration of the tech. Active memory access. Due to the constraints of the audit phase, the operator guiding the rogue consciousness through the echoes of their own, their own memory, the subject's mind will only interact with memories they want to. This means that the operator must carefully guide the subject into memories the operator wants to explore. Herein lies the difficulty of the operator's role. This is helped by introducing the subject to as much past stimulus as possible, such as photographs or newspaper clippings based on and used to stimulate past memories. Unintentional religious experience. <laughs> A crippling side effect, which can only be viewed as extreme mental collateral damage. Unless certain less psychologically robust subjects have reported feelings of deep euphoria, epiphany, or snap enlightenment, and a feeling of presence from a higher being observing and judging their actions. While these are all explainable facets of the Pandora process, they, are also, they also form the quantifiable backbone of real-world religious experience and conversion. As such, long-term test subjects could fall onto a spectrum where at one end, they develop curious, repetitious, and superstitious behavior, while at the other end they find them gil give themselves over to the worship of the higher power. Interesting. That explains that puppet master stuff. Uh, and there's more over here. No, we looked at that already. Okay, so. Oh. I didn't even notice his, uh. I noticed that stuff disappeared, but I didn't realize that it was his, um. That it was Black's coffin thing. Okay, so I guess this is all Grace, there is to do. If you can hear me, I'm going to show you some things, okay? I'm going to show you how all this came to be. Your mother was right. This was all fault and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. He's just in the asylum. Let me help you understand. Isn't he? Summary I of doom. This is all because of you. Grace, please. You let us all down. You put your creation before your family. You let you. me down. I know. I was so fool. Ha, ha, ha. 
Protected everything I'd worked to build. Did all the dirty work for me. But I made a terrible mistake. I know this will upset you, and I'm sorry. But your mother and I... We just grew apart. Rose understood what I was trying to accomplish with the Pandora in a way that nobody else could. And I did love her. Except the business competitors. But I never stopped loving you, Grace. I thought we could finish up a little early today. Go and grab a meal at that new Thai place. Let off a little steam. <laughs> what do you think? If this is going to work out between us, you need to understand that Lenore and Grace will always be part of my life. That's just something you need to accept. You either commit to something, or you end up with nothing. Wow, I what a terrible message. <laughs> because I didn't want to abandon my family. And I couldn't commit to my family because I was too consumed by my work. And Rose was right. I ended up with nothing. I can't live like this any longer. With every day that passes, another little bit of me dies. I know you're too blind to see it, but you did this to her. I can't bear the sight of you, and I refuse to be your wife. I couldn't commit to her. Couldn't give her the love she deserved. But I refused to let her go. For you, Grace, my darling daughter, I loved you so much. Adult brains, I understand, but this, this is just incessant, incoherent gambling. What on earth is she doing? I just didn't understand what it meant to be a father. All right, you, come here. Although I have no idea what you're saying, and I can say with a reasonable degree of certainty that you have no idea what I'm saying. I got it wrong, Grace, and I'm sorry. Your mother once said I used you as an excuse to work. I don't know if she was right, but I know I wanted you to be cared for, and I know I wanted you. I wanted you to have a father you could be proud of. I'm sorry, I failed. What? Okay, Grace. It's time to finish the session. You've seen everything. Just give me a moment. May 26, 2017. Okay. So then who got killed in the explosion? I 
I don't understand. He, he was trying to communicate with me. You said he was dead. He is. All you're seeing is remnants of his consciousness, created by the Pandora reacting to the artificial stimulants flooding his system. It's, it's complicated. I, I need to see what happened to him. Send me back in. Grace, it's not a nice thing for anyone to watch, let alone his daughter. Are you absolutely sure about this? He's my father. I want to know. I need to know. Maybe she had a sister that somehow has not come up before ever? Howard. Ramsey. Just relax, okay? There's no need for the gun. Dad. You did this. You were responsible. Put the gun down. Responsible. Let's have a sensible, grown-up conversation. Okay, so there's, there was that you car crash that was. My stuff. My boys, and you turned them against me. I think we both know that's not true. You took my daughter away from me. I did no such my thing. My family. Son of a bitch. My wife. Robert, you need to sit down. There was that car that was evidence as, um, as one of the crimes. Dad. And then they said, uh... <laughs> One of the news articles was, um, you know, unidentified man shot in warehouse, and it was, it said, like, 40-year-old man, and at the time I thought, um, what's his name, Prado, I didn't think he was that old, so maybe it's one of these guys. Maybe it's uh Let me get you Howard. a drink. No! Responsible. Someone needs to pay for this. You've upset a lot of people, Robert. I'm not the only one with a score to settle. So you admit it. I admit you stole my invention. You admit it. My life's work. Responsible. Claimed by a thief as his own. You did this. So yes. Add me to the list of people you royally fucked off over the years, Ramsey. But I accept no responsibility for a mess you created. Dad, Dad, don't do it. Dad, Dad please don't do it. Dad. Hmm. Dad. No, you did this, and I think you already know that's true. Responsible. I didn't. Responsible. It wasn't me. It's okay. It wasn't me. Just give me the gun, and let's put all this behind us. Okay? Responsible. Someone don't do it. needs to pay. No, 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 no. Put it down, put it down! Dad! Dad, please! Yeah, and then he... Dad! Survive, but not really. Dad! So, that's it. For all I know, the Pandora is just simulating my consciousness. I still don't fully understand it, even now. But I left it all to you, Grace. I learned from Howard's mistakes. I own the patent, and patent. measures are in place to ensure they can't just replicate it. It needs to be in the hands of someone like you. Someone pure. I love you, my darling. And I'm sorry. 
That still doesn't explain why she's not dead in an explosion, though. Ah, uh, okay. Grace? Grace, my love. Are you okay? Yeah. The technology has no adverse effects that we know of. She'll be absent. I wasn't talking to you. Grace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I'm, I'm thinking. Grace, listen to me. I've done everything you asked. All we need is for you to sign a few papers and we can continue where you're... Sweetie, going. you don't have to make this decision now. You're exhausted. Let's just head home, okay? Grace, talk to me. All you need to do is sign and we'll transfer the money within you're 20... You're a piece of work, you know that. Lenore. This is between me and Grace. This isn't anything to How do with you. How fucking dare you! I'm yeah, gonna really. Ruin my crippled daughter, my dead husband, and my dead husband's whore. This is everything to do with me. No, this is business. And from what I heard, your dead husband very nearly left you for that whore. You. Shut up! Shut up, both of you. Really. Mum, I've got this. You put me in this wheelchair. You, you do realize that, don't you? Well, without you, my parents are still together and my father is still alive. Grace, what are you saying? Are you telling me she's responsible for all Grace, this? Grace, I don't know what you saw. You want her to sign those papers? <sighs> you want her to allow you to work with Robert's technology? Then you don't fucking grace her. To you, she is Miss Ramsey, and you don't speak unless you're spoken to first. Am I making myself clear? Yes. Perfectly. Clear. Perfectly clear, Miss Ramsey. How many functional headsets do we have? Fully functional. Only one, Miss Ramsey. Your father. This one. Smash. This one? No. No. Yep. <laughs> no, and now you have none. <gasps> do you have any idea what you've just done? This ends today. My father was a misguided man who didn't understand what he was dealing with, and I certainly can't trust you to do the right thing. Going to regret that? No, I won't. Nobody should be obsessing over things they can't change, shutting themselves off from the present. Memories belong in the past, and my father deserves to be dead. You're playing a very dangerous game, Grace. Threats? Oh, how very original of you, Rose. Well, what are you going to do? Kidnap me again? Strap another bomb to me? There is nothing you can threaten me with that's worse than what I've already been through. So fuck the headset, and especially fuck you! Let's go home, Mum. Of course. You haven't heard the last of this, Grace. It's Miss Ramsey. Wow. And yeah, I have. No, wait! Come back! Let's discuss this! No! There's nothing more to talk about. Grace! Goodbye, Rose. Goodbye... Dad. All right. <laughs> what a happy ending. Yeah, so... I'm not exactly sure what kind of... Uh, genre they were going for here. It seems like they were trying to do like a... Pure story walking sim. While also like a survival horror and just stealth shooter at the same time and they kind of got in the way of each other um so it was kind of weird uh overall this is pretty good as a whole uh there were parts that kind of didn't work too well together like uh specifically the whole, uh, you need to use stealth or you lose out on essential info. I'm assuming that's what it was, because it never really, it, it kind of danced around the issue, which was a good thing because, uh, you know, you don't want it being like, you need, you need to use stealth or otherwise, uh, you, you, uh, get a bad rank or a bad ending or something um so but it also could have used a bit of clarity um 
it did show uh, all the all the scenes that you could go back to. So there was the possibility that you could go back to and and try to do stealth through the whole thing, but um, I, I don't think with the game mechanics that this had, I don't think stealthing it all the way through is reasonable it's you can certainly do it but I don't think that um, you should be expected to um, but overall great sound great video uh, I really like the the effects around like the the distorted memories where they're like um, the bodies are kind of disintegrating and uh, when mem memories fade in and out and it's kind of like a, a stream of, of something a memory stream um, it had a good a few good mechanics that were uh, things I've never seen before like the the uh, the corner gun um, it had just a gun with a camera on the side. I think there's been a couple of games that have done that before, but uh, whatever. Um, it's it's not something you see that often. Um, also, uh, being able to switch between views on that was good. Though, like I said, it was kind of hard to switch to, to get the right view. You had to go all the way through the cycle. It wasn't the most intuitive um, sometimes you know you need to see the, the right screen and it was like they weren't exactly in the best order like uh, thermal and camera should have been in or they were in in right next to each other which is good but then you know maybe left of the camera you should have flashlight and it was like flashlight was like right in the middle between uh, text log and uh, journal update or whatever it was. It was kind of in a weird place, but that could have easily been, have been solved by a radial menu or something. I don't know. Uh, the horror in this was really good. Uh, lots of good jump scares. Um, It might be because I was uh, talking a lot of the way through, but uh, it got me some. Uh, it got me a lot of times, and uh, doesn't happen that often. It could just be because I was my attention wasn't completely on the game, but it was good. Uh, they did. They did some creative things, like how they had the uh, the dolls everywhere, the mannequins, and like they had uh, a mannequin, and then if that didn't get you, then there's another mannequin, and it's holding a, a clip of ammo, and it's like, okay, I have to go take the ammo. Is it gonna attack me? No. Okay. But then the th guy around the corner is, um, and then when the mannequins start attacking you, then you have paranoia. Okay. That was good. Uh, I don't have a whole lot much else to say. Um, the story could have been a little bit clearer, but uh, that's kind of the point of the story. So, it, you know, figuring figuring out exactly what happened. So. Uh, Has has a bit, a little bit of leeway there. I mean, I wouldn't want like a uh, a summary of the thing. I'd rather have a uh, you know, I'd rather it be kind of like 
have to interpret it than have a plot summary or I don't know have the th the thing for dumb people who can't figure out the story uh like me to an extent I think I I think I kind of figured it out but um there's a couple holes here and there A lot of, uh, good swerves at the end. I really didn't expect, um, expect Grace to be the, the, uh, top-level Inception character. I kind of had a feeling that they might, um, that, uh, what's his name? Um... Uh, the, the doctor that that he was uh, still inside of the machine which he was but uh, it was kind of a suspicion more than any reasonable thing it was story instinct that's what I would have done Anyway, uh, I'm going to keep watching the credits, but uh, I'll see you guys around.